morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's video, I am going to do a play-along duet series. Actually, I'm going to do three play-along duets in the key of E major, so you guys asked for it, and so I'm going to give it to you. Actually, you didn't ask for it, but I pretended that you did. So um, last week you guys practiced um, the Krupsch exercises in E major, so um, exercises in an uncomfortable key. And so now we are going to put it to the test and give you guys the opportunity to play some music with me in the uncomfortable key of E major. Before I do that, I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel and for making this possible to keep everything going. I really appreciate you guys. Um, anybody else out there, if you appreciate what I'm doing here for the clarinet community, please consider becoming a patron for as little as $3 a month. In addition to that, I'm also doing virtual lessons over the summer, so you can just visit my website and fill out the inquiry form um, to sign up for lessons over the summer with me. Now, while I am talking, I want you guys to get your clarinet out, get your reed ready, uh, so you can go ahead and play with me in this video. Um, I'm going to give you just a few tips on the music before we get started. I know you guys are going to be sight reading, um, and so um, just a few things to look out for. So the key of E major, just in case you didn't look at the video last week, and just in case you don't remember your key signatures, E major has four sharps. Fuzzy cats get dirty. What's that? F, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. Is that bad that I'm like a professional and I still use fuzzy cats get dirty after every bath to remember sharps? I don't know. But anyway, you have those four sharps in your key signature here. So be ready for that. Everybody likes to miss that D sharp. So, um... Be ready for it. Um, you are going to have to be doing a little bit of pinky magic, and so keep your eye out for that. Um, you'll also get to use the chromatic fingering for F sharp a few times, um, which would be, there's a bit of chromaticism. So instead of your middle finger for F sharp, you can use this. Um, when you see the RF in the third duet, that just means to re-emphasize the note. It's not a punchy accent, it's not a forzando, it's a rinforzando, so just give it a little bit more of an accent as if there's like a little mm, expressive tenuta over the note. So it's nothing nothing major or, or crazy or anything with the, the RF. And if you find that your G sharps are really out of tune in this, that's probably because they are. It's the third in the key of E major. And so in major third, you want to play it like 14 cents lower than you would um, any other time. And if you do that, you'll sound a little bit more in tune with hopefully what I'm playing. Um, so, you know, if you have your um, side G sharp here, you could add a few covers if you think that you're going to be sharp on that. Um, the low G sharp on my instrument can be a little bit high sometimes, so sometimes I'll add the F sharp key on the side here. It muffles the sound a little bit, but it also lowers the pitch without making the tone too gross. Um, and then the, the high G sharp, there really aren't any tricks. You can kind of hover your fingers over these keys to lower the pitch a little bit if you think you're a little sharp, or you can use your air to lower the pitch very, very subtly, but, um, but uh, the, the main concern, I think, is the, the side key G sharp where you can, it's notoriously sharp and you can just add a bunch of fingers on the lower hand to lower the pitch of that one. And I will not be taking the repeats in this one. If you guys want to play it again, you can just hit rewind. But for time's sake, we're just going to read these straight through. No repeats, just for fun. So I hope you guys have your instrument out and ready because we are going to read through this duet now. Enjoy! Thank you. 
much fun. I hope you enjoyed playing with me. I am really excited about the thought of you guys playing all these duets with me. So leave, leave your thoughts on everything in the comments below. Let me know if you tried these out. And hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, a great week, and as always, happy practicing.